And the dubious trans charity Mermaids has lost its legal case against the LGB Alliance. A rare win for sanity, Lewis. Well, you could say that, or you could say you could say it's a, it's a loss for the truth, according to the trans charity Mermaid. This is one. Of, I think this is an incredible story because this is basically the, a trans group suing a non-trans gay and lesbian group, uh, trying to get them denied. Um, non-profit status, as we would call it in America. A charitable status. Charitable status. To stop them from getting tax advantages so that the so that the gay group, so that the trans group will have free ride to promote their, their beliefs. And, uh, and, and so, it's the, first, so they, it's the first time this has ever happened, that one group is suing another group to stop them from getting... Um, yeah. And, and it's a really interesting story because it's like... It's all about the T and the LGBT. One is LGB Alliance, which doesn't have a T, and one has a T. And it's like, it's like the question, does pineapple belong on pizza? Mm, I didn't and, see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I personally, and I don't know, we could take a vote. I personally think that pineapple does belong on pizza. I'm the same. I like okay. pineapple on pizza. Oh, we've all agreed. We, one of us yeah. needs to disagree for regulation. I can't. Yeah, I, don't <laughs> I don't want anyone to not send me free pineapple pizza. Yeah, if you don't agree, then just... Tweet us at Lewis Schaefer. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, Don't just tweet Lewis either. But, yeah. But on and, the... Yeah, go on. And Sorry, so, so, it's, so what I'm saying is, is that should, should the no um, pineapple sue the pineapple people? I see. Or can we all live in peace? OK, you went full Trump there. The pineapple <laughs> people. For a second. The pe- OK, well, yeah, and the other point about this, apart from the pineapple thing, which is very sad, <laughs> yeah. the other point, though, Paul, is that the, the, the judges couldn't actually agree, or whoever, the, yeah, the tribunal judges couldn't agree whether it should have charitable status or not. But they said we, that's even hypothetical and irrelevant because they agree that there's no standing. So mermaids had no standing, was, is, was the legal term. Yeah. That's so what mermaids did, was do a long statement about why this was actually a win, which reminded me very much of The Office when Brent says, that's the real quiz, that's the real quiz, when you throw the shoe <laughs> yeah, over yeah, the yeah. They were like, we've still won, guys. And I was like, you haven't, though. You've <laughs> that's lost. Such a good You've lost horribly. Well, we've all got great analogies today. What did you think, though? <laughs> Well, I mean, first of all, the stupidity of the counterproductiveness of this whole case is ridiculous. But irrespective of that, and anything else you can accuse mermaids of, they are proving themselves to be a cruel and pernicious organisation, as far as I'm concerned. That anyone who fights their opponents in a way that would undermine themselves like this should be viewed with suspicion. They are, as far as I can tell, from seeing everything I'm seeing, they are not particularly interested in the subject matter. They're interested in winning. They're interested in their narrative being part of the mainstream narrative. That's all they're interested in. Yeah. They don't care for the children involved. They don't care for the real problems. Yeah, and, and can I just say something? Yeah. That's, that's typical of men. <laughs> nice. OK. Well, yeah, Mermaid certainly has a dubious record. I don't know what I can say. I don't know what my legal standing is. So let's just leave it there.